Okay, Coach, um, we'll start as we always do. Uh, your assessment, I, I know it was a tough series at BYU, a couple of one-run ball games, but uh, you guys had to grind it out second week in a row in Utah. Yeah, it's, it's never easy playing there. Uh, BYU is a very talented team, and we did what we could not do. We couldn't afford to make mistakes. We made mistakes, and it cost us. Uh, we had chances to win. We had the lead in both games. But it's testimony how good we are. It's also testimony that we can't make those kind of mistakes. And, and the end result was we got swept, and we deserve to get swept. Well, the, the standings are pretty close. I mean, you guys played BYU relatively close. They're second in the WAC standings. Uh, there's still a lot of room to gain, even though there's one series left. And you come home again to play New Mexico State, who's near the bottom or at the bottom of the WAC standings. So a lot of ground to catch up still. Yeah, and, and, and for us, really, our goals are simple. Win the series uh, this week. Uh, New Mexico State, even though they're in the bottom, they're, they're a very good ball club. They've been hit with some unfortunate injuries, but they're still going to compete. They, they played well last week, and they played well against Fresno. So they'll come here to play, and for some of their seniors, uh, it's, it's the last time they'll step on a collegiate field since they're not in the WAC, and I expect them to be loose and just have fun. And I don't expect them to check out. So we're going to have our hands full. We need to get back playing good, solid uh, defense, hit the ball, and get good pitching, and we'll be fine. If you had to isolate a strength of, of New Mexico State, what would it be? They're hitting. Uh, they have a couple hitters that have performed very well. Uh, Jennings, uh, Torrey, has, has been uh, a thorn in our sights at times, uh, and uh, we'll have to pitch her tough. And then they have a couple others that move the ball well. Uh, they're a competitive team. All right, well, with the, it kind of goes hand in hand with the last series of the year. You also have to have the uh, senior day, and I know you're going to have this weekend. What are your plans for senior day? Maybe talk a little about each senior they're going to be honoring. Sure. Uh, this year we have five seniors. Uh, I, will, I will say this. Uh, the, these are five solid individuals, uh, not just athletes, but individuals. They've done a great job academically. Uh, five together combined for a GPA well over 3.0. Uh, Lauren Shanks, who had, and it was, I've teased her because she's been just under a 4.0 every semester. She finds a way to get an A minus, and I tease her about that. And God only knows I didn't get that many A minuses, so I don't know what that GPA even looked like when I was in college. Uh, she's a great individual, uh, has always contributed to the team, as well as Amanda Schatz, who now will go on to nursing school. Uh, who does have a year of eligibility, but we decided, and her and I together, it was best for her future to move on, uh, get into a 16-month program, and, and start her new chapter in life. And I'm, I'm sure her parents will appreciate that because it doesn't cost them any money. They'll make some money. Uh, Jennifer Ames, a fifth-year senior, been a pitcher for us, uh, and one of my first uh, recruits uh, in the circle. Did a great job for us here. She will go on and, and finish her credential. And I don't leave anybody out. Uh, Alex Stang, who is currently in nursing school, we've worked around her schedule. Great athlete, great student. Just, I can't say enough good things about all this group. And then, the, really, the anchor of this senior group is um, Brianna Lopez. And I and I pause because she goes by the name. Not I didn't give it to her. Big Mama. So she's kind of like the mom on the team. A very strict one, I might add. But she has always put this team first and put her second. And Every one of the athletes that I have here are good athletes, but they have to grind it out to be as good as they are. Uh, and, and that's what I appreciate about all of them. Uh, usually what happens is we do it in between games, and, and it has to go very quickly to prepare for the next game, and they kind of get bum rush. And I really wanted to give them the time. That combined with the fact they were the last five to play with Deanna Maurer, and we built the patio this year. So we're going to have it after the game. Uh, the uh, Booster Club is putting a barbecue on. We'll do the presentations out there. We'll have all the time in the world. We'll have the podium out there, and we'll do it uh, at, at a place where one of their former athletes and uh, teammates, um, you know, unfortunately passed. But, but uh, I think it's kind of a good setting for us, and, and I'm looking forward to it and giving them as much time as they deserve. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, have fun. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. Thank you.